Let's talk how to collect data from different ads platforms into Google Sheets. For this, we will use Supermetrics and Don for the first time for this account. Hey, <laughs> my name is Gala, I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gala Reports. Let's go! I already created Google Sheets and uh, let's install Supermetrics add on to this document and to this account in general. Uh, let's click to extensions, add ons, uh, get add on. Mm, we will have a window. Uh, I already have Supermetrics here in the but uh, yeah, you type it in a search box Supermetrics, you find Supermetrics add on. As you see, this connector has a lot of competitors, but we are interested in Supermetrics right now. So, if you found them, click. And we have two options admin install and individual install because I work from my company email. I think individual install will be enough for now. And we click this. After that, we select our Gmail address and uh, we need to grant access to Supermetrics to your document. Um, after that, uh, you wait a couple of seconds and that is it. You already installed and done and you can start to use it. When uh, you click to extensions next time, you will see Supermetrics in the list of your add-ons that already added to your account. And here we have several options and first and the most important that we use all the time, it is a launch sidebar. Uh, I will not go deeper actually in this video because it's uh, the first intro video of Supermetrics are done. Just let's do a quick overview what we have here. First of all, we have our right sidebar and here we have our icon of our team. Our team is a marketing gallery reports and my user is same. When you have several teams, mm, you can change them switch between them if you click uh, here to the bottom part um, also we have here two main tabs queries and schedule queries now is empty and schedule empty too uh, but here we can add a trigger to update our query automatically like daily or weekly basis let's go to query and uh, create a new query here we have a list of data sources. Uh, you can see a lot of different data sources. Uh, I don't need something like really hard. Let's work with Google Analytics because it's the easiest way. Uh, and let's start our trail. <clears throat> when we start trail, uh, we have this uh, separate tab uh, where we need to log in to our Google Analytics account and again grant access to Supermetrics. We change nothing, just click to allow, uh, that is it. Okay. Success. Uh, if you saw, I had a small tab we, where I, we can write that I have 14 days free drill. It will be enough for me right now. And uh, so I connect to my first data source, Google Analytics, and I did my authorization. And next uh, we can create query. We can uh, go to okay, Google Analytics, yeah, this account. Then we can select account, daily reports, yeah. And we can select dates, last month is okay for now, select metrics, same as you see in Google Analytics, uh, could be users I don't know uh, we can split by date um, so just by date um, set up some filters options if we need um, select cell where we want to start our query and just click get data to table that is it uh, you can play around with different metrics and settings. Of course, there are different types of different moment 
when you work with Facebook ads, when you work with Shopify data or Google Analytics. But generally speaking, that is it. We installed Supermetrics add-on and we got our first query. And if you repeat these actions after me, you did already a great job. Now play around and good luck with your experiments with Supermetrics add-on.